go. Hello, Namaste. Welcome to another session on the topic of Hinduism, a closer faith. I am Dr. Ravi Sarma. I take pleasure in inviting you to join us in a conversation with a very reverential spiritual master who is visiting the United States at this time. I would like us to meet Swami Adhyatmanandji of Shivananda Ashram Ahmedabad, India. Swamiji, Namaskar. Namaste. It's a pleasure that you have agreed to join me in this conversation. Wonderful. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you and have our audiences benefit yes. from your insights mm -hmm. into the yogic practices what we call, in this country, we call it yoga. You already told me it is yoga. Mm -hmm. the, this particular topic is very, very much contemporary yes. for our community, for our country yes. in the United States. And you being a master, you have practiced, you have taught, you have taught thousands and thousands of people on the proper way of practicing yoga. Scientific way. Scientific way of practicing yes. yoga. So, Amiji, tell us when a, a general person, let us say a physician tells yes. you practice yoga and he says, okay, I want to get started, where does that person start? He should start with uh, Hatha Yoga only. Okay. Because in a yoga science, there are a number of uh, faculties are there. They say, Karma Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Gnana Yoga, Raj Yoga, Laya Yoga, Nada Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, Patanjali Yoga. And in America, we got a hot yoga also. Hot yoga also. <laughs> very, yes, very interesting. So, uh, you should start with Hatha Yoga because they say so, when physician is asking you to practice, it means is precisely requesting you for your physical fitness. And the Shruti said so, Sharira Madhyam Khalu Dharma Sadhanam Dharma Artha Kama Mokshanam Arogyam Mula Uttanam Sharira Madhyam, the physical fitness is the only secret and essential factor. Anything you want to do, you may be a doctor, you may be an engineer, you may be a student, you may be a housewife, you may be in any walk of life. The physical fitness is a sign qua none. So when doctor is asking, you should start with Hatha Yoga only. Hatha Yoga. Yes. So when in our country here, yes. when people go to a yoga studio, a yes. yoga teacher, mm -hmm. Or uh, the church offers them yoga classes. Yes. When they go, they practice the physical health that is the Hatha Yoga. Yes. Okay. But what does yoga mean to people? What does it mean? Oh. What do we understand? Initially, around the globe, people confined to Hatha Yoga is a practical practice of asana and pranayama. That is Hatha Yoga. Some kriyas are coming, that is a cleansing process. Nasal cleansing, known as a neti, a drink water and vomit it out, is a cleansing of the upper region of the food tube and part of the intestine, that is known as a dhauti. Then comes a basti, kind of an anima. Then comes a tratak, at this distance, you keep a candle and concentrate that in a kabbala bhati, so cleansing your nasal passage and also a bronchial tube in the upper part of the lungs. So these are all helps you for a physical fitness. So that is what the beginning. And the asana is what? Is a posture? Asanas are postures. Posture. They, they, Patanjali is very clear to say that asana means sthira sukham asanam. Your posture should be steady and easy. The Patanjali yoga they mean to add that to for a higher level. That is yama, niyama, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana and samadhi. Yama is a, a niyama, is a ahinsa, satya, steya, brahmacharya, parigraha. Non-violence. Go back to Mahatma Gandhi. 
think of Martin Luther King, the stalwart people. They have come with the understanding of the divinity that non-violence is the first and right. That's what the Buddha said so. That was all the learned people said so. Swamiji Patanjali yes. Yes. is the sage yes. who formulated the principles and made them available to us yes. more than 22,000 years ago, even you, in, you in earlier. See, you see, earlier in India, we used to say, you will find it in Gita. In Gita. Now you can say you find it in Google. Google, okay. <laughs> so you see that what Google says is correct, but it is not always like that. Right. Patanjali is very ancient. Right. Is as ancient as a Panini, the master of a grammar. grammar. And so, Panini and Patanjali are more ancient than Rama. Right. Because before Rama, the Valmiki was there, was confused the Valmiki Ramayana. In the NASA of Orlando, in the March 2003, they make an announcement that connecting link, a bridge between uh, Colombo in India was constructed by Rama some one million years old. So it's beyond concept. It's all imagination. imagination. But they are ancient people. They're ancient people. Yes, we okay. accept it. Okay. And so to have a first a physical dis a self discipline, non violence, truth, chastity, purity, character, and then comes a purity not only a physical but a mental. Ah, that so. very a very very essential factor that we think a hygienic. Hygienic, but what about the mental hygiene? These all things, a, a so-called uh, personal discipline, social discipline, then comes asana, the third stage, Sweet. physical discipline, pranayama is a breathing discipline, mind is a mental discipline, and uh, pratyara, it is dharana, this all goes, sensual discipline, mental discipline, intellectual discipline, then samadhi comes a cosmic discipline. So you are talking about the personality development the, of the individual. And yoga is atha yoga nu shasanam. Yoga is a discipline. discipline. Science of a discipline itself. Okay, that's yes. what we would like yes, us to yes. convey. Sir, sir, midnight you eat a pizza, pasta, have a cock and then drink and have a ice cream at midnight, 12 o'clock. Oh, I want to go for a yoga. You can't. You cannot. Apicurance and glutens has got no room in yoga. No. But let them start. Start somewhere. Slowly okay. and gradually. Okay. Systematically, uh, slowly, gradually, regularly, systematically, scientifically, and with interest, if they practice it, they will, they will be in a better human shape. Right. Yes. So, a lot of uh, medical yes. scientific data yes. have shown. Yes, yes. The benefits for the heart, yes. The blood pressure, yes. And the digestion, correct. And most recently, a very nice uh, publication talked about how when children have handicaps, yes. When they are taught how to practice the discipline of yoga, yes. They have performed much better within yes. even in spite of having their handicap. And how does a, a practice of asana, yes. pranayama? How does it lead to that kind of helpful, healthy change in the body? You see, uh, when we are commencing a learning of yoga, asanas and pranayama, the first chapter is a flexibility. Flexibility. Because, yes, because okay. the nature is given, being a doctor, you know, these all joints are there. All joints has got a, a lubricating points. So when you make all these joints, and then neck joints, and elbow joints, and shoulder joints, and all, then what happens actually there, that slowly and gradually a, a, a Swami named Karunananda, disciple of my master Swami Shivananji Maharaj, he was an Australian guy. He made a 24 discipline known as a flexibility exercise. Flexibility yes, exercise. And then later on the different names has been given to it. Yes, sir. A relaxation and opening. But this flexibility helps a disabled people to slowly and gradually, people suffering from a, can say, uh, paralysis attack. Paralysis. So it's right. a kind of, uh, that they go for a physiotherapy. Yes. But this is even much better because it goes directly in the nerves. Practice of yoga abhyasa or the yoga science is directly dealing with a different system. Your respiratory system, your circulatory system, your alimentary system, your genitourinary system, your locomotor system, 
and the nervous system running along with the vertebral column. All these systems are depending upon a full physical fitness and the different asanas, different pranayama. Like you practice a sarvanga asana, like a shoulder stain. The shoulder stain stands for what? It stands for a healthy thyroid and parathyroid. The healthy thyroid and the parathyroid is good for what? It is for the total health. If the thyroid is healthy, parathyroid is healthy, then your total health is healthy for the longevity, good health and long life. But at the same time, you must know, the teacher must know that those who are suffering from cervical spondylosis, those who are having a running the pus in the ear, those who are having a high myopia, those who are having a, a medicine is not able to control their blood pressure or myocardial infarction. Such people in children below 10, they should not be entertained for such asanas. So, yoga teacher must have a sufficient medical background. To Very essential to understand, to yes. protect the safety of yes. the individual. Yes, yes, yes. Trying yes. to practice. Very essential. Any Tom, Dick, and Harry uh, start teaching yoga asanas. Uh, they may bring harm also. Okay. Harm also. So yes, yes. everybody who practices should mm. understand their limits. Yes. And gradually try to learn, but yes. not try to do too much at one time and do not get hurt. You have to start from A for apple, B for ball, C for cat, and D for doll. Okay. So slowly you start with the flexibilities in simple postures, lying on a back. Simple postures lying in the abdomen, very, very simple, small postures. Then you go to level one to level two, principal postures, head stand, shoulder stand, fist pose, plow pose, etc. But uh, nothing is impossible. A gentleman can become a doctor, a gentleman can become an engineer. To learning yoga sana is not a very big uh, a thing to be brought from the seventh heaven. You should have a perseverance and patience. Slowly, gradually, systematically, scientifically, regularly, without fail, with interest, you will be a great yogi. Yes. So, if I found a teacher, yes, that teacher is a very capable person who trains me. Yes. And if I am an ordinary person who has a job and a family, yes. Every day, how much of time should I mentally and be able to prepare? Start how with many days? minimum 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Minimum. Minimum. Maximum one hour. One hour. More than that, practice of yoga asanas or pranayama, not necessary. Not necessary. Yes. Okay. Swalpa mapyasya dharmasya trayate mahato vayat. Even a little practice you do, but should be every day. Without fail, I will suggest you, my friends, if you are practicing it 20 minutes, be firm to 20 minutes. If you are not able to do all seven days, no problem, okay. five days. But your 20 minutes you should stick. Never make a 15 or 19. <laughs> and Swami, funny. may I make a 25? Once in a while is okay. But when you take a discipline of 20 minutes, stick to it. You will be a new man with a new light new power, new wisdom, slowly and gradually you may increase the timings and then you go up to one hour for the physical fitness within a total awareness, keeping yourself bright, one hour practice of yogasanas. In that you may make a 20 minute yogasanas, 20 minute practice of pranayama, that is breathing, science of breathing and 20 minutes silence sitting, meditation, all the three together will lead you from the gross to the subtle to the subtler, from the external to the internal and the eternal. Nothing will be lucky. That's all. Swamiji, one of the questions that people ask yes. is, should I do my yoga in the morning or in the evening? Should mm. I have eaten first and given an hour or two or should I not yeah. do that and yeah. then finish my yoga, yeah. wait a while? So how does a person... You start your day the moment you get up, don't waste your time. Wash yourself, fresh yourself. And if you are going for a walk, go for a walk. If you are going for a gym, go for a gym. If you go for a running, go for a running. If you are going for a swimming, go for a swimming. If you are doing acrobatics, do it. And then practice yoga. That's all growth. It's a shuttle. So you start your day with the yoga abhyasa. Number one, in the morning. Now in the midday, then before lunch you can practice. 
after lunch have at least minimum three hours gap. What about in the evening, Swami? Then evening, when you come from a job, fresh yourself. You may have a cup of tea, nothing wrong in that. Not more than that. Not a, a, a one uh, enchilada also. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have only cup of tea and then you practice yoga asanas. Swami, if I want to practice at night, nothing wrong. You can practice it. Undisturbed. But then if you are having evening supper by 5, 30, 6 o'clock, then at 30, 9 o'clock you can do it. It's all up to you. Sky is all open for you when you want to fly. But don't practice yoga asanas, pranayama or meditation immediately after eating. Yes. Thank you, Swamiji. You have been saying pranayama. Yes. How do all yoga teachers teach pranayama or is it something that they have to go somewhere else to learn? No, that? no, no, no. When the yoga teacher is teaching yoga asanas, he must teach pranayama. You see, practice of yoga asana is something like you are bringing a copper plate. But when you teach pranayama, it's a golden plate. When you do practice of meditation, it's a, a golden plate studded with a diamond. So value of the pranayama, because when you and me, when we were born, there was no earth, there was no sun, there was no moon, there was only sky and only prana, prana the energy was there. Dr. Saab, you are a doctor, tell me, when baby is born, the baby's first need is what? Mom or a dad? First breath. Breath, first no breath. mom, no dad, correct, very correct, the breath only. So your breath is to be given a more value. How to breathe? We don't know how to breathe. Yes, when you breathe in, then your abdomen should come out or down. No one knows. They must know. When you breathe in, your abdomen should be blotted out. When you breathe out, abdomen should go down. There are simple pranayama is there, known as the easy inhalation. There are another pranayama, Omkara, Brahmari, Shitali, Shitkari, Kapalabhati, Bastrika, Sukhapurvaka. There are number, Ujjayi, number of pranayams. Learn one or a two. If you don't do anything, Dr. J. S. Gordon in this country, in Washington, D.C., a director of mind, body and medicine mm -hmm. with a ball book and a candle, making people sit one after one, one by one, one to one, teaching only pranayam, is inhalation. Cross your legs, sit straight, slowly inhale. When you inhale, blot on your tummy. Slowly exhale. Bring the tummy down. Doctor in Arizona, in a Tucson University, where they are making a great research on the heart, they are teaching pranayama. What is going to happen when slowly and gradually you are confined to this pranayama? You are asking a question mm -hmm. that children suffering a lot of. When children suffer in this country, United States, in Europe, most of the people are having one of the very known problem is an allergy, varieties of allergy, Allergies. chickpeas yes, allergy, then dust allergy. You little practice of a pranayama, 15 to 20 minutes every day. What? Easy in a lesson. Sit straight. Cross your legs. If you are not able to, stretch your legs like this. And then slowly inhale with both nostrils. Blot on your tummy. Exhale and draw tummy down. You should watch. No breath should get in or get out without your knowledge. You must know, I am breathing in. You must know, I am breathing out. And then when you breathe in, don't feel I am breathing a air of Atlanta or a Georgia or a Rome or a... No, you are not breathing the air of United States. There are five principal elements of nature. The earth, air, water, ether and fire. So you are breathing in cosmic energy. The whims and vigor, the vigilance and diligence, the light and power and wisdom is getting in. With each breath you feel, I am filled with a new life. I am becoming a new man. When you breathe out, don't think it's in the carbon dioxide. Of course it is a carbon dioxide. But you feel, I am sharing my joy with all of the world. Each breath will bring a new happy life to you. Each breath brings a new life to you. And you will shine and prosper because you are becoming one with a cosmos. That should be the way. Then you, when you breathe in and out, that is pranayama. Different techniques are there, but yoga teacher must teach to them. Yes. Swamiji, as you were talking, I was thinking. Yes. 
you are making it such that you are calming the mind yes. just listening to you i can feel the calmness come through the mind yes a lot of people feel that they feel the pressure of the day to day life and the people who practice it regularly say it calms their mind yes that is how your heart rate improves your blood pressure comes down yes you don't need your medicines yes. and you are describing to our listeners and audiences of course how to relax your mind how to relax your body yes by proper practices of breathing mm -hmm. and the practices of yoga yes. with the asana and all that yes yes lot of people are now beginning to learn having become familiar with the asanas and pranayama yes they are talking about salutations to sun correct what about surya namaskar what kind of health benefits can people expect is it a an extension of the yogic practices that you have it is not extension is the beginning of it's the beginning of it yes. okay yes because you okay. see surya namaskar the salutation to the sun is a compose of the 12 different posture among the four postures are repeated again you are facing the sun if minus the sun from your life what will remain is a darkness and death but this you in surya namaskara folding the hand is a normal breathing when you lift your arms up you breathe in forward bending is breathing out then four posture you breathe in five you retain the breath and then you breathe out so breathing in breathing out practice of surya namaskara is not merely asana it is asana is a pranayama keeping yourself physically fit mentally alert yes it is the beginning when you start with surya namaskara or salutation to the sun then slowly it's a gateway to yoga learning good learn yes okay so one of the questions that people have yes. is it is something that they practice mm -hmm. for their own physical and mental well being of course does it have to be connected to the faith of the person or can a person of any faith <laughs> no. practice yoga no 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 if you believe in allah aur masda jehovah jande vast vahe guru satnam jesus moses buddha mahavir ram krishna continue with them nothing wrong there is nothing to do with the religion it is a purely a medical purely physical purely mental purely ethical but not with the religion no never bring it together no so yes. it is one thing that yes. you do that's for a healthy person yes. development of healthy person we wish the christian should be a real christian muslim should be a real muslim try to be a real human that is yoga that is yoga yes okay because when you were talking to me in the beginning you were talking about the mm. ethical principles yes. that patanjali sage patanjali yes. brought in yes. and you also mentioned about mm. them mm -hmm. swami ji I want to thank you for really really in a very very positive way telling us in the short time that we had today about the principles of yoga yes the principles of physical health the mental well-being and you're actually making a person a better person spiritual well-being regardless of the faith that the person and you are telling us to practice it in a disciplined manner yes do it every day do it with discipline do it in moderation and be peaceful is that what i understand the, from you yoga way of a life is a life of a transparency transparency and not the hypocrisy no hypocrisy okay. love the self dive deep in the recesses of the heart and find the pearl of the peace may god be with you Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you Swami ji. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you for spending the time with us. Until we see you again. Namaskar to everybody. Thank you so much.